just being in the deep room and sharing it with DJ Ivy is just, you know, um, it's, it's a great thing. You know, we grew up, uh, I think I met DJ in like 2008, and we just been playing, you know, pretty much on the same team. And just to go in our senior year um, and just to finalize that with one of my brothers is just is amazing. There's a lot of expectations, a lot of expectations outside of this facility. What is the expectations for you guys within the facility, whether it's you know ACC, goals, national goals, things like that? Uh, we all we all have goals, and we all uh, we all looking towards it. But at the same time, we really focus on just being better. Uh, just like, like like I said earlier, just putting in one percent each day and coming out and just you know being being better than who you was yesterday, and just um, and if you focus on that and if you focus on um, just improving, then the long time goals and everything that we want as an individual and as a team will all come. But we all also just got to start by what, practicing tomorrow, you know. Terry, we've heard Mario kind of describe the culture he's trying to implement here. How would the players, how would you guys kind of explain the culture shift? Oh, dramatic. You know, it was just, it was just, it was just a wave that took over us, and just having him coming in and him being dedicated to his message and his culture and how he feels that you should be. You know, it, it, it was, it was no room to not believe it and not buy into it, and I feel like that's what we're doing as a team. And I feel like he giving us his all, and he and, and how he came in, and how he changed the culture, and how he presented everything. He just he got this entire team, this entire staff trusting him, and that uh, everything just gonna go out the way that he you know has a plan. And just behind the culture thing, um, just you know stick to uh, stick to the basics, and, and how you do everything, and how you do one thing, or how you do anything is how you do everything. I'm not sure if he's really given you like your fall camp hype up speech yet, but what? Do you think kind of the goal is just in these early phases of okay. camp? Um, I just feel like you know, just work. You know, um, we got a, like a lot to prove as individuals and as a team, and as and they have a lot to prove as a coaching staff. So I just feel like his main thing is just work. You know, just come in and and if you love your teammates and if you love this program and if you love the culture and if you love everything about you, you will give your all, which will have you you know be one percent better. So just. Um, he didn't, I, don't, I really don't think he has to give us a, a fall count speech because I feel like everybody is, is dedicated and motivated in their own way and also dedicated and motivated as a team to you know push everybody forward. Um, I tell the guys you know every day, all day, um, I need you just like you need me. And we all need each other you know, the, um, to, to put a W in the win column. So, you know, it just ain't no individual sport. There's so much outside noise, so much hype around this program. That's, you obviously have a head coach who's coming in. It's his first year. He's trying to change things here. It's, there's a lot of excitement around this program. How are you guys kind of managing the expectations? Oh, um, I feel like we leave that up to Cristobal. And, and, and Coach Cristobal comes in, and it's the first thing he says is, oh, um, no distraction. No, it's time. Uh, it's coming. We're coming up on a time where we got to cut off all the distractions. I feel like Coach Cristobal, you know, uh, when he does his media and once he. When he talks about the team, he you know he kind of ends all the distractions so it doesn't trickle down and you know kind of uh, harm us or, or, or kind of have us thinking differently about what's going on. So I feel like Coach Cristobal emotionally takes that away from us, and when he always come in, he always just tell us no distractions. Thank you so much. No problem. I'm Ruthie. I'm a Channel Six. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Same you, brought us, you brought us lunch. Huh? Oh, you can have it if you want to. Right? <laughs> so Terry, talk about the defensive backfield. Mm -hmm. You guys. We're one of the bright spots last year, the, the young talent, you know, you have, how good can you guys be? Oh, I feel like we could be one of the best secondaries in the country, but you know, also that starts with us being, that starts with us working and just improving, improving who we were individually and as a group uh, next year. Just and just having these young guys come in, even the freshman class and James and Cam, just having them young guys come in and already be on the senior or junior, you know, mentality or what they need, what they need. They know they need to work. They know they need to get in the film, and they know they need to do certain things to propel themselves to actually be one of the uh, top DBs in the country and a top DB team, top DB for this uh, team, just uh, just great, you know. How is the, the, the vibe different? We've heard players really starting back in the spring talk about the, uh, the, the, the level of accountability and responsibility and, uh, you know, less, be more serious. Do you, do you see that? Oh. I know Kemp has a start, but... You can, you, can, you can feel it. You don't have to see it. You, okay. can, you, can, you can feel it because... Um, as it comes from crystal ball, it triggers down into the coaches. Okay. And the coaches imply it into us as it's coming from them. So it's like 
it ain't just coming from crystal ball and ain't it just coming from the coaches it's coming from the staff as a whole and i feel like that that that's a better a better understanding for us and all the coaches on the same page so we all could be on the same page and we all understand that it's one goal that we all uh you know working to and, and everybody is putting in a certain level of work to get us to that goal you, you, being honest about this program over the last 20 years mm -hmm. it really hasn't achieved mm -hmm. Every, it seems like every 20 years there's a coaching change. Mm -hmm. You know, more sizzle. <laughs> yeah. say, why will that change? It's been a long time since this program was really relevant. Except for the first year, the second year of Mark Rick and Lieutenant Oak. Mm -hmm. A long time since this program was relevant to the national scene. Why, why do, you, do you guys think that? Why do you think that could change this year? Oh, uh, just because of the, the mindset and the culture Coach Crystal Ball came in with. He came in with the mindset as like, we're going to outwork everybody, we're going to outhit everybody, and we're going to outsmart everybody, you know. Uh, just being, I feel like he comes in with the, the sense of urge of we're going to work and we're going to prepare. So we're going to be the best, we're going to be the best working, hard working team, and we're also going to be the most prepared. So.